Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right, here we are. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O, and uh, welcome to a one off Wednesday. Uh, once again, I've got to just, uh, we're getting down to the last of uh, the uh, great big huge box if you've been following me. Uh, Jerome from Chasing Diecast Cars. He's got a YouTube channel from Belgium, Europe. And uh, we've got another one of Wednesday, which is totally exciting. So once again, thank you, Jerome. Yes, and I am still working on a box. I don't know how long he worked on a box this box for me, but uh, it's taking me a little bit trying to get uh, some stuff put together for him. But anyway, as we move on, so today we are going to be talking about Cararama and uh, just an awesome, awesome uh, little model. And hold on just one second. I got to give a shout out to... Uh, a young man, <laughs> well, I'm trying to find his card here quickly um, as you're looking at that. And uh, he has been doing an excellent job. And I got all my cards here. And of course, I do you think I could uh, pull his up right away? Yeah, here it is. I want you, I need you guys to go over and uh, Gary Norman does an excellent job. Uh, uh, Glenn Derry. Um, oh man, I should took. You know, I'm gonna put it in the comments down below. His his YouTube channel. It's with uh, trains, but uh, the 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 tram is taking a break, and he's doing uh, excellent series on Kararama and uh, the web the the uh, Facebook page. Sorry, Gary, I'm not pulling out. I want to get it right. Uh, the um, and so we'll we'll get that on the uh, in the description down below. So check him out. He he does an exclusive, an excellent um, um, uh, series on the Cararamas, and uh, so go check him out. Yes, uh, he posts. We post. Uh, we try to post all of his videos. Gary's videos on Roverland, the Facebook page, and so go over there and check that out, and while you're doing that, give me a thumbs up here for a one of Wednesday, uh, so here it is, the one of Wednesday, the Kararama, and I don't know really if it's going to give us much information about what it is, now this is, um, from what I understand, Kid Do is, um, I believe is a uh, uh, like toy um, distributor, uh, a toy store, a toy distributor uh, for model cars and things like that. So uh, yeah, just really cool. Now, if you don't know anything about Cararama, they are a big, um, how do you say that? Silent partner, but here it is, not so silent. But they do a lot of Hungwell, uh, there it is, their little uh, thing, but they do a lot of versions and stuff like that um, back and forth. So I don't know if I could uh, totally um, explain how that works being over here on the other side of the pond. We don't get much of this. Matter of fact, the uh, I was looking for um, what I had for Cararama, and I did buy some of these Cararama Freelanders, but they're also called Hungwell as well. Uh, so I believe I you know these guys are the ones that actually produce the model Hungwell because they'll ha have it on the base, and Cararama I believe is like a. Um, distributor or a uh, product line that uh, Hung, Hungwell um, produces under. So very kind of cool. So I've got a couple of these on the card. 
But I also have bought um, a the same exact model per se, uh, uh, loose. Now this was uh, loose, but it came in the little protective case. And so we could pop this guy out and take a look at just, you know, and you'll see on the bottom here, um, and I'm showing you this because we can't do it on the other one, but this is the Land Rover Freelander. And this is kind of what they they um, do here is uh, produce that. So there, that's a really cool model. Usually, Hungwell is, does the 172nd scale is what they are kind of really known for. And uh, Oxford is another one that they kind of trip over on and stuff like that. But anyway, this here is a Range Rover and I don't know exactly the year. This is uh, 99, maybe 2000, early 2000. But uh, what I had, and I bought this somewhere in the States. I don't know if on eBay or something, but it, it's a, uh, this is the only thing that I have uh, that is Cararama other in, in the Range Rover model versus the, the only other thing is these Freelanders. And like I say, I got a couple of those, five, six of those. But this is the um, Range Rover that I have here. Now, as far as I can tell, they are practically the same model, but just done up a little bit differently. And this one came with a horse trailer and a horsey, <laughs> but very, very nice. I don't know really per se if that horse trailer is uh, to scale. It seems a little high, but I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that's, that's the only one that I have got as far as a Range Rover Cararama. Now this silver metallic, note the wheels. Those really, I've never really seen a Range Rover with those uh, kind of wheels. Now it does have the floating glass uh, blacked out pillars, A, B, C, and D pillars. Very cool, this has got a tow hitch, which I think is an added uh, feature with uh, from from the back end. This one does not have a tow tow hitch. So anyway, so yeah, that's about what I got. So this is another one of Wednesday, an excellent model. I love these Range Rover wheels. This is more of the traditional Range Rover wheels. Now this one, I'm hoping that the camera can pick up. This is um, uh, a. I don't think it's really metallic and of course you know the guys it's taped shut so I can't get it but it's nice is that it's in this uh, bubble thing so we could take a look at it but uh, details in the front Range Rover on the hood uh, the lens inserts with wipers on them got lights on the bottom there the, the lights on the bottom ugh, are painted but uh, yeah, LF46-8, it's probably OH, but yeah, very, very cool, tan interior. The um, floating, the, the pillars on this one are more of a um, uh, satin paint job, but it's got the mirrors on it. They have to actually make a bubble in the packaging for the mirrors. Uh, the back end is just gorgeous. Let's see if we can focus here. Range Rover with, uh, now these are painted, but they're like a pearl uh, paint for the uh, rear tail lights and turn signals and stuff like that. Really kind of cool, but it does, let's see if I can focus in just a little bit here. It does have the 4.6 HSE on there and the, the uh, range, the Land Rover badge on the left. So very, very nice. You can see the third light in the uh, back there, the back glass. So very, very cool. This is really good. Maybe on this scale, uh, this uh, focused in, you can kind of see that metallic green. Awesome. 
uh, vinyl, little vinyl tires, uh, beautiful tan uh, interior. Now this is a right hooker and uh, totally awesome. Just some really good details inside there. Looks like the back deck is uh, covered, but it's got nice uh, captain's chairs, seats, high back seats in the back. Uh, wipers uh, look like they are uh, painted on, but that's a whole nother, you know, that goes with the, um, the flat black on there. But just some nice details. Uh, so plastic base, metal die cast body, just, just so nice, just so nice. Here's a little bit better look while we're zoomed in here. Just great, just great. We're gonna take a look at the top here. It's got the uh, the moon roof and it's open, but you know, just some really nice detailing with the uh, with the molding and stuff. So they really do. Uh, excellent job um, in making these. So very, very cool. Uh, once again, a one of Wednesday. Awesome to have it uh, kind of like this so you can see both sides. It's going to sit alongside this one here, you know. So, yeah, thanks a lot, Jerome. All right, that's it. I got to get out of here. This is your friend Dano. Thank you for joining me on a one of Wednesday. Remember... Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rubber day!